What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. This week's video, very different than what you're probably used to seeing. Instead of taking pallets apart and turning them into something else, we're actually going to keep these pallets intact and we are going to make them a little more presentable, a little nicer, uh, so they can be used at my friend's bridal shower. So that's this week's video and let's get into it. To make these pallets nicer, uh, you can see this middle brace here is messed up and we got jagged nails popping out. We can't have that. We don't want anybody bleeding at a bridal shower. We got some nails popping out there. So I'm gonna go over both these pallets, uh, use some of my crowbars and pop out any nails that may be a danger to anyone at the party. So let's get it, let, but, but let's do it. prepped up now for the second pallet as you saw in those clips for the first pallet i re-secured the upper middle brace of the pallet and then i went over both pallets to make sure that any protruding nails were re-secured or taken out because when i sand these down i don't want to ruin my new sander so now that all that prep work is done what we are going to do is cut a uh we're gonna cut three missing pieces in these areas for this second pallet so, so that we have the same uniform look and then we will be ready to get some sanding done so let's get into it all right so as you can see here we have our three new pieces cut for our pallet and now i'm gonna need to sand these actually and stain them and i'm gonna either use a golden oak or a weathered oak maybe both i haven't decided yet However, we're just gonna try to capture the same look on here. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna sand these as well so that everything is ready to be beautified. So we're gonna hit everything with some 60 grit, then get some stain on these pieces. Then we'll secure those with nails. And so here is how palette one is looking after we are sanded down with our 60 grit. This is palette two. Our pieces are now sanded down as well. So we're gonna secure those onto palette two right now. And just like that, we have our new boards added in. So what we're going to do is we're going to scuff up those three new pieces. And then we're going to lay stain on both of these so that they look nice and weathered again. I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but I just am using construction pine 1x4 for these extra pieces. It's pretty much the closest wood I could find um that is the same in terms of its width uh thickness and then also what i like about it a lot is a majority of the time the wood is already pretty beat up because it is construction grade pine so it already has that like rustic beat up look into it but obviously again just to match the other flow and with the rest of the palette i just added in some extra marks on here just so that it kind of looks like it all right here's palette two all stained up here is palette one all stained up. I really like how these look. I originally went with that weathered oak, but I ran out, so I used the golden oak. And I think it looks much more rustic, but at the same time, clean and presentable. I don't know, that probably doesn't make that much sense for palettes, but that's kind of the look we captured. So the next thing we have to do is wait to get a sign that is gonna be added. Um, the bride is gonna come by and drop that off for me and I will add that on for her. But yeah, so far we are done. All right, so the bride came by, dropped off the signage, and I just used some simple brad nailers to get that into place, and this pallet is complete. All right, guys, so obviously uh, there was no clips from the bridal shower. Some unfortunate circumstances came up, and it was it is rescheduled. Um, so obviously I wanna get this video up. Um, since I don't have any footage from there, you'll just have to follow me and my Instagram's down below and you can see the complete products there. But that was the gist of this video, um, revamping some old palettes, turning them into signs. And uh, this was my first time ever doing something like this and I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. It was a pretty quick and simple process, pro process for this project. I guess that works. And I think they turned out great. So as always, please leave a like on the video, comment down below um, what your thoughts were. Have you ever done anything like this? Um, before any tips for me would be greatly appreciated 
And then don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and don't forget to keep God number one. Have a great day or night. God bless. And if you're wondering why that last clip looks so much better, why this clip looks so much better, here's the reason why. We got a brand new camera, the Canon EOS M50. I've been playing with this camera for a few days, learning the ins and outs, trying to figure out the best settings. I'm starting to get into a groove with it, and I'm getting very comfortable working with this camera. I'm super excited about this. So far, this is a fantastic camera, a massive upgrade from my iPhone, so I'm looking forward to the type of content I'll be able to get out going forward, higher quality, better quality for you guys to enjoy viewing. If anyone's ever interested, not that I'm a massive tech guy, I can give a review in the future, but that'll be something everybody decides down below. Again, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night. Don't forget to get, don't forget to keep God number one. God bless. All right. Hopefully, we actually have a right mic in here. Test, 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 test. This footage looks sick. It's gonna be way better than my phone. Adjusting, adjusting. That's pretty sweet. Not too shabby. All right, we're figuring this out, man. These will get better as we go. I promise.